All right, guys. Today we're back in Code Academy in the C Sharp section. So this is about ten hours of content. They say I don't actually know if that that takes into account these pro sections or if it just is the um, free sections because we're we're going to be doing the free sections as we usually will do. Um, it looks like they're going to be expanding the content as well. Some live streams. Um, but they've released um, the, the additional content that's here as well. Uh, they've released all of it, but um, uh, more after New Year's. So that's, that's good. Good to see them expanding and continue to grow their, their curriculum. But um, let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey guys, I wanna take a moment to recommend Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp to you. Dev Mountain's been a long-term sponsor of mine. I appreciate their support as I've helped grown the channel and tell everyone about their great facilities. I've actually been to their Provo, Utah campus and it's beautiful. So if you're interested in a full stack JavaScript bootcamp, they provide housing alongside the tuition so you can get up and go today. They're one of the most affordable bootcamps in the world, in the States. And I highly suggest you check them out at devmountain.com. All right, so let's jump right into Hello World of C++. So C++ is obviously a programming language. You've probably heard of C, C++, C Sharp, and if you haven't, they're all, C was sort of the original, and uh, C++ came out um, a little bit back in the day. Um, I've done a C++ course in college, and it's similar to a lot of other languages. So um, what are we looking at here? Um, well, we're gonna run it and see what happens. What do you think is gonna happen, right? Um, by looking at the code, knowing what we know about software is, um, what is this STD out is part of the input output stream. So let, let's break this down, right? Um, and if this is your first programming language, all this stuff may not be as intuitive but let me break it down um, as to what's actually happening here. What we're doing here is we are including a external resource, an input output stream in this case. Then we have our main method here, as well as int um, telling us what the return type is, I imagine. Um, but um, this main method is similar to JavaScript is the initializer of your entire application. It's the main one, nothing happens unless we kick it off or bootstrap it up from our main method. And this std c out, colon colon c out, is in fact um, printing out this text here. Um, and the, the slash n, if you're not familiar with like printing out strings and stuff like that, slash n is probably a new line if I had to guess. So like if we were to put one, two, three, and we were to run it, we'd get one, two, three in the next line. So that's what's going on here. All right, cool. So we uh, we have C plus plus program to run, and as I mentioned, the includes is the library, the main function int main, the beginning of the function, um, because um, like most code, uh, code goes synchronously. So line five, six, seven, kicked off in the main method, and then the you know, end of the function. Um, so uh, the stdc out is the character output stream, which is dependent upon this library that we're including. Slash in a special character that ind indicates a new line and the semicolon we use to say the end of the statement. So uh, um, this uh, um, left bracket, left bracket is uh, essentially us putting this, I don't want to, uh, this assignment of output it's not really an assignment, but um, the assignment of output, um, the operator comes after it. So let's go ahead and do something similar. We're gonna go ahead and do cd c out, colon, colon, c out. And uh, uh, in this case, what they want us to do is code academy forward slash n now 
in a lot of uh, languages, the double quotes is used to def to um, essentially say uh, strings, while single quotes is in fact a um, or, uh, or single quotes is for characters. So make sure you're using the double quotes. I don't remember if that's it for C++, but I imagine it is because I think it is in C sharp. I'm pretty sure it is in C sharp. All right, so we learned that C out will output some stuff. Um, so in this current, right, it's gonna say hello, goodbye, because on new line, new line. Um, but instead of displaying two lines, edits code so we have the following output. All right, so a um, couple things we can do, right? We got hello, goodbye. How do we get this little triangle? Um, well, it looks like, let's start from the bottom, work our way up, right? So we can do um, seven space eight space nine space 10. And what do we know about the new line, right? So then we can go, um, let's work backwards six five space four and then space 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 and then here forward slash n and then we go three oops three space two space and you can also do this with um um what's the word i'm looking for um multiple out, so we may if I type this up incorrectly. So uh, it's gonna be, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then take forward slash n, and then do one, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's see if I actually type that up correctly. Uh, Pretty close. I think, honestly, I think what they wanted was just one line for each. Let's see. Oh, no, yeah. They did multiple lines. Uh, so it all came out, it all worked. Close enough, right? Close enough. So cool. Um, so we've, we've dove a little bit into the input output library and the main method that launches everything in our application. So that is hello world. And up next, we're going to be doing compile and execute. So um, if you've never worked with a compiled language before, um, C++ is such a language. And what that means is that unlike JavaScript, where JavaScript, your code can run even if there's a bug and an error in it um, because maybe that part of the code isn't executing yet. Here, we want to compile all of our code ahead of time. And thus, we need to make sure that it then is ready to be executed and it won't execute if there's any errors. Makes sense. Um, uh, and the reason it has to compile is it can only mach understand machine code. So, um, uh, we are going to execute some stuff. So we have our file hello.cpp. And to launch it, this dot slash it means in our current directory, and in our current directory, we're at hello cpp. Uh, permission denied. I'll click on the folder icon. Where is the folder icon? Whew, look at that. That's a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, But yeah, to, to their point is, this is technically what your code is compiling down to. None of this makes any sense, right? I don't know what this means. Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't know what this means. In theory, uh, you could spend ages learning how all this works, um, but we have more high level languages, so we don't have to. 
So what we want to do here is go ahead and do dot slash a dot out, and that will run our compiled code. It's the output of our compiled C++. So this is the command it looks like to rename our executable output file. Last time it was like a.out, not, not the most user-friendly thing ever. Um, so if we click it, all we have is hello.cpp. And we want to give it a better name. So this time, what we're going to do is g++ hello.cpp, which is our current file dash o to rename file. I want to rename it hello. It looks like it's compiling and you'll see now we have this machine code in our hello file in a much more user-friendly way. Um, and now if we wanted to execute just hello and then it will run our code and we have hello world. Comments. Comments are pantomount in a lot of things um, although there are a lot of cases where uh, you don't want to use comments and they're one of the things junior developers make a lot of mistakes on and if you have any questions about that i don't want this to turn into a whole thing and overwhelm you but i highly suggest you check out my series called code like a pro and we we go over what's a good comment what's a bad comment in one of the the videos all right so um program is highly collaborative and you know, sometimes you want to leave comments. Um, uh, oftentimes you want to, um, I personally prefer to leave comments above the code. That's just my sense. But uh, comments allow us to put code, in, uh, put some definition into our application so that we can understand what it's doing. This isn't actually going to run, but it will put it there so that when you're looking through the code, you um, have additional context. And if you want to do multi-line comments, you start with a slash star and you end it with a star slash with, and so it'll do a multi-line comment like this. So let's practice adding a single line comment on line one that says Harry Potter. All right. And we'll run our code. Oh. And now we want to compile and execute spell CPP using the terminal. So um, G plus plus spell uh, CPP and dash O, we'll call it spell. And now we want to, if I did that right, I did. Um, now we want to execute spell. Uh, slash spell. Expecto Patronum. There we go. Um, uh, cool. So um, we learned a few minor things in this section. We learned about how to include a library. We learned that the main method allows us to uh, bootstrap our application and get it going and fire off our initial code. We talked about how uh, input output stream about outputting text. I'm sure we'll talk about inputting text as well and other things. We've also um, begun talking about comments or we've talked about comments and then we've discussed um, compiling our code which is something that you know we if you haven't worked in a compiled language before you might not be familiar with. But um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, check out my courses in the description below if you want to help me out, as well as the books that I recommend that you read that I think will help you level up your game. I'll see you guys in the next C++ video where we're diving a little bit deeper. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.